Notice something missing in the thumbnail? <laughs> yes, no one is on foot. Yet, walking is the most natural and also cost-effective way to get around. There are many alternatives to the car. Rethink transportation and prepare for a big surprise. Hi, I'm Norbert, energy engineer, and here to rethink with you how we travel from home to anywhere. Have you noticed that most people today choose for the most costly option? Excuse me, the car? Today I am stepping out of the usual four walls of energy home do-it-yourself for the reason that the costs of transportation are way beyond your electricity bill. On top of your financial strain, also transportation regulations are set to be tightened. Think of the ban on the sale of fossil fuel cars in Europe in nine years. In this video, I'll demonstrate how various alternatives to driving can save you really big money and avoid future headaches. Let's dive into the numbers. The average yearly cost of owning a car, if you travel 10,000 kilometers, is around 5,000 or 50 cents per kilometer. That's enough to rent a car for one week, 10 times, or take 200 taxi rides for those situations when the alternatives below are not suitable. Now, let's explore those alternatives. But first, I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. If you think that I can help you to save money and have an impact on climate change, then subscribing is like a vote to my mission that doesn't cost you anything. But you will help me in a concrete way to have more impact on many more people. I'm doing my part to grow my audience by writing subtitles in seven languages. And now the alternatives. Walking. That's the simplest solution, particularly if your destination is within some 1,500 meters from home. It requires no investment, it avoids parking hassles, and it adds years to your life. Biking. Let me share a personal story. While living in Switzerland, I commuted daily between Zug and Zurich, that's a distance of 25 kilometers, and by bus and train, it took me 70 minutes from door to door, costing 13 Swiss francs per day. Multiply that with 200 working days per year and I bought a Cannondale electric bike with a Bosch motor and I cycled the distance in the same 70 minutes with only 30% electric assistance, saving the battery and benefiting my health. In low temperatures, my body functioned like a CHP, combined heat and power, but also during summer, this 30% assistance really made my ride very cool. And if the rain surprised me, I had a compact poncho with me. It was even fun riding in the rain in this way. Now ride sharing. This is an effective option if you have colleagues uh, living nearby. Otherwise, online platforms can put you into contact with colleagues with the same uh, challenge. And that's also a great way to meet new folks. Public transport, bus, metro and train are certainly less expensive than having a car at 5,000 per year. They are future-proof and if the job allows it, traveling off peak hours will avoid the rush hours. Then the motorbike or the scooter. For the longer distances, they are still cheaper than the car and they need less space uh, for parking. But what is a long distance? You remember that, that I did the 25 kilometers with an e-bike, which really has a reasonable price. Electric cars. I own a Chevrolet Volt and I appreciate very much its technical concept. A small battery and a generator. The battery's uh, capacity is sufficient for 2 times 40 kilometers daily commute. And then you really drive purely electric for the whole year. And of course using the nighttime produced electric tariff. Intermodal transport. So combining all these methods above makes you more flexible. For example, during my three years that I worked in Florence, in Italy, I took the train. I parked my old bike on the railway station of Florence. In my normal bike, I used it to go between home and the railway station of Montecatini, where I live. So, what about you? Are you still driving a car on diesel or gasoline? 
then start reducing its uh, use gradually so that you can prepare for a future where regulations and finance might restrict its viability. Also, in this video, I will show you how to adopt a fuel-saving driving style that can cut your fuel cost by some 300 per year.